this is something that I think is pretty powerful and something that, again, if I was still managing clusters, I would a, a thousand percent be trying to run, you know, operations through this type of setup, right? So I've got, you know, five clusters. Uh, I want to deploy an application or a package to all of those. How do I do that easily? How do I do that in such a way that's repeatable and I don't have to sit here and run scripts or click through this GUI a bunch of times, right? So we enable continuous delivery on the cluster group. We're going to add a repository in here. Now, the repository I'm using here should have been shared by AJ in the links that were sent out. So these are all available to you uh, if you want to try this yourself. Um, you just need to pop in this, U this URL, and you can actually use the same folder settings that I do. So you can specify your branch of your repository if you want. So you can scope out, you know, you can potentially scope out these different um, cluster groups to things like a blue-green deployment, um, a staging, a prod deployment, things like that. But essentially, I'm telling Flux to point to the specific directory where I have all of my Tanzu packages configured. And I'm going to enable prune so that uh, when I remove all these things, actually, when I remove all these things, uh, things are cleaned up automatically for me. Add this customization. And so again, you know, the, the configurations in this directory will get disseminated to all of our different clusters that are in that group. Prune and add. Nope. And there may be a synchronize up, so this one's going. And as you can see here, it, it looks like we actually have uh, continuous delivery still enabling on a couple of different clusters. So this is something that you just kind of wait for it to reconcile. And every reconciliation cycle that it goes through, uh, you'll start to see all these uh, errors clear up. So usually takes about a few minutes, depending on how many clusters that you have. 